welcome to my channel, me and my jackets. My name is Chris. Today's video, we are looking at the Patagonia Diamond Quilted Bomber Jacket. So we're gonna get into this piece. We're gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna show you a little layering with it um, and definitely kind of explain what this jacket's all about. It's actually pretty unique. It's a little bit different than some of the other Patagonia um, jackets that I have tested. Um, if you're new to the channel and you're into outdoor activities, mountain climbing, hiking, snowboarding, skiing, rock climbing, the whole bit, um, you're probably interested in these jackets from these companies, Arcteryx, Patagonia, Rab, Heli Hansen. These companies are awesome. They make awesome products. And I have a ton of videos here um, explaining what a lot of these products are all about. So if you subscribe to the channel, take some time, look around, use the playlists because I have it all broken down to different categories to help you navigate your way around and find what you're looking for. Um, you know, I would appreciate the support. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, yeah. So here we go. Let's move on to you know this video here today. So like I said, this is a little unique jacket. This is a little bit different. I have tested so far the um, the down sweater hoodie from Patagonia, the nano puff, the micro puff, um, and the Jackson Glacier. Yeah. We've done a few of them. Um, this one is a light, synthetically insulated jacket that has um, 80 grams of a synthetic uh, polyester recycled um, insulation inside. Um, it's a pretty unique jacket as that, to me, it definitely seems to be, and don't take this the wrong way, but cheaper than some of the other jackets from Patagonia that I've tested. Like I said, the, the micro puff, the nano puff, um, and the down sweater. And I just say that simply because it's, it's built well, it's made well, but it just seems to be more of a everyday jacket than a real technical piece, at least in my mind. All right, um, the diamond quilting on here is actually supposed to be really nice to holding heat and just the way it's constructed um, for the insulation to lay in there. Um, and it kind of gives the jacket a nice look. Um, as far as some of the features go, okay, um, the cuffs here on the sleeves, it's just a thin elastic band around the cuffs. Um, simple, but effective, right? It works. As the bottom hem of the jacket too, is just a nylon, um, a stretchy nylon elastic all around it. There are no draw cords, there's no pull cords, there's nothing. It's just this elastic. It does, however, kind of tighten up around you, at least around me it does. So it does, um, do the job as far as keeping it nice and close to you and not allowing so much hot air to, or cold air, to come up into the jacket. Inside the jacket, there is nothing, okay? There's no pockets inside this jacket. Um, the zipper here is, is a nice zipper. It's definitely um, comes up but it doesn't come up very high, all right? This does not have one of those hoods that pulls over and the collar comes up over your neck and face. It simply ends here. The hood um, is a nice sized hood, but it has two pull cords here. So instead of an adjustment here on the back, it has these two pull cords just to help cinch up around the front, okay? And you can tie it. Um, that's about it. And it has a little chest pocket here. The chest pocket has a small little zipper here. There's not a lot of room. You're not going to be putting like gloves or anything in here. It's just a small little pocket here, you know, for your keys, a credit card, maybe some cash or something small like that will fit in here. Um, but the pull cords here to adjust the front of the hood is kind of different. Like I haven't seen that on you know any of the other jackets that I've tested. They all have, some of them have little pulls here on the side to cinch down the front, and then they'll have a pull in the back to tighten the back up. So this hood does not have that. The other thing with this hood 
is the hood is basically designed like like it's cut in half and there's two pieces and one half comes up here and one half comes up here and there's a big ridge right down the center part of this hood okay right down the center of the hood all the way down the back into here so if you see it kind of gives the hood a very triangular shape right it's I mean it works it's just different but it, you can see this triangular like everything goes up right around and comes around. So it's a nice warm insulated hood, just a little different, right? It's not that rounded molded hood with the pull cords on the back or adjustments in the front. Um, it does have, I guess it is extended a little bit here in the front just to give it a little bit of a lip. There is like a nylon cord or something in the front from that com comes around. Actually, it's probably these strings that I'm feeling inside here. But it adds just enough rigidity that it just kind of holds its shape pretty well there in the front. Um, but that's basically what this jacket is. It's 100% recycled material in this jacket. The insulation, which I said is it's an 80 gram, what they call thermogreen uh, insulation. So it is a warm jacket. The you know outer fabric, the inner um, lining is all 100% recycled as well. So. <laughs> You know, that's what Patagonia does, right? Patagonia really prides itself on using those recycled materials and leaving a small footprint on this planet, which is awesome. So, yeah, definitely a, a nice warm jacket, however. This um, outer face fabric is uh, wind resistant as well as uh, it has a DWR uh, coating on it, which will help to repel some light rain. So it is a synthetically insulated jacket, so even if it got wet, it would still hold a lot of its um, ability to keep you warm. But um, it will repel some light rain and moisture on this jacket. So a nice fit, right? It's not a big bulky jacket. It has two pockets here on the side, all right? I said it has a little chest pocket here. No pockets in the jacket. But um, two nice pockets here on the side that are very comfortable, um, but they do not close. And, and most pockets are cut like straight down. These are kind of up here on the angle. Um, and it's just an opening, no zippers, no closure. You just, they're always open. Um, so like I said, um, not really like a technical jacket more of just a casual everyday it's a very comfortable jacket it's certainly warm i'm getting pretty warm here wearing this <laughs> um so yeah just different nice piece it's put together really well so like i said before to me it just seems cheaper than some of the other patagonia jackets the down um, synthetically insulated jackets and down insulated jackets that i have tested um, and it is cheaper, but it's just simpler. It's just cut simpler. Um, you know, it's not a really technical piece. So if you're, you know, looking for a jacket, you know, to go rock climbing in or, you know, something like that, um, this probably isn't going to be your best choice. I'd probably look at the Nano Puff or Micro Puff or something like that. Um, but. Uh, this just as an everyday basic jacket it's really nice it's a nice piece all right so i hope that kind of gives you a little uh, introduction here as to what this jacket is and what it's all about um definitely i mean i actually i kind of like this black color with the uh purple and blue uh strings here on it, it just looks kind of cool but um it's a nice contrast but uh yeah so that's the um diamond quilted bomber jacket right a little shorter length too that's why they're calling it a bomber jacket right it's a little shorter um, it's got the elastic around the waist here to kind of cinch up around you and uh, yeah so that's it if it helped you out please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hopefully we'll see you again soon um, I will show you here real quick before we leave just a layer I have an R1 tech face fleece here that I will put on underneath that. So if you want to see how this fits while being, you know, layered, you certainly can see that. Um, 
I have many different, you know, fleeces and stuff that could be worn underneath this. I, I wouldn't recommend anything too heavy. There is some room under this jacket, but not a lot of room. Um, it's, it's a pretty um, comfortable fitting jacket. So just having a nice fleece here underneath is perfect. I, I, I really like this combination, this fit. Just a nice light fleece. I wouldn't put too much, too much heavier underneath it. At least for me, like this fits really nice. Now you can see the length difference here too, right? Um, the bomber jacket here is definitely shorter than the tech fleece underneath it. Um, not a big deal, but again, it's just a little different style. But putting this fleece on extra underneath, uh, underneath it just gives you a little bit of extra warmth. Um, and definitely it makes this a nice combination. So a little bit of room inside, not a lot, nothing big and bulky underneath it. A nice fleece works great. Um, so here you have it. All right. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back again soon. Take care. Bye.